One question that people often don't ask, even though the coefficient of variation itself is a relatively uh, unknown uh, statistical uh, coefficient or a, a metric, how do you test for uh, coefficient of variation differences statistically? You often see people report the coefficient of variation, but you don't see people testing it for statistical differences very much, particularly in the behavioral sciences. Well, you can actually use the Levine's F test for coefficient of variations. It's basically performing an ANOVA on the ratio of the absolute deviations associated with each observation from its respective group mean divided by the group mean. Now that's a mouthful that I wouldn't expect most people to understand. But in formula terms, where it might be easier to understand, uh, you're simply subtracting a, val a person's value from the mean uh, of the group, and then you take the absolute value for that difference, and then you divide that difference by the mean. And every person is going to get a value. It's basically a coefficient of variation um, value that's corrected for a difference in the mean. Um, I guess in a very conceptual way you can say that. Uh, and every person's going to get a score like that. Now if you're not familiar with Levine's F-test, I have another video on homogeneity of variances uh, that you might want to check out where I go in more detail about Levine's F-test. And I also have a video on testing Levine's F-test in ANOVA that you might be interested in checking out. But this is what uh, a lot of people use to test differences between coefficients of variations in a statistically significant way. They basically do a Levine's test, which is basically an ANOVA, on these scores that are obtained for each person in the sample. Uh, so there are some assumptions associated with coefficient of variation and or uh, applying the Levine's test on the coefficient of variation values. Uh, so it only works for positive values. If you, uh, you, if you don't have positive values when you're subtracting scores, um, uh, like so for means, if you have negative values, uh, it's not going to work. The mean must be greater than zero, so it wouldn't work for z-scores. Uh, so those are two important criteria. Uh, another one is it assumes a linear relationship between the standard deviation and the mean. I think that's fairly technical. It's probably always the case that you're going to see that. Um, and something about the Levine's test, as I mentioned in the homogeneity of variance uh, this uh, presentation, there are some more robust approaches to uh, Levine's test than simply using the mean. You could use the median, as the Brown-Forsyth test does, or you can use a non-parametric Levine's test, which is based on ranks. Again, I talk about that in homogeneity of variance. So there, is, there are some similarities between homogeneity of variance and homogeneity of coefficient of variability or coefficient of variation. And they're both very interesting in their own right. Um, here are some references that uh, you might be interested in checking out if you want to know more about this. This is uh, Lewontin's 1966 paper, which is, I believe, the first paper to actually talk about testing the difference between uh, coefficients of variations using Levine's test. Now, Lewontin talks about a transformation that he applies to the data, which is a, a logarithmic transformation that he applies to the data before doing so. But um, this uh, book here by Halgrimson and Hall who talk about a variation in great detail, uh, say that it's not really uh, necessary to make the transformation. So if you want to learn about Levine's test applied to the coefficient of variation, and you want a reference that says that you don't really have to do the, the transformation, you might want to check that out. This last paper here by Down1976 did a bit of uh, simulation research, or not quite simulation, but he did do a lot of quantitative research to compare uh, different types of uh, doing a t-test versus ANOVA across multiple conditions comparing coefficients of variation, which uh, you might find interesting. Um, and I encourage you to check that out if you, if you have the interest in your, in, in, and you have the time. I uh, hope you found this video useful, and um, thanks for checking out uh, howtostats.com.